Yeah, great. Well, thank you for sharing with me uh, your your honest uh, opinion, observation, or what comes up for you. So let's take a look at this. So I say Her Majesty, and that pulls a trigger for you, and it turns you off. Yep. So let's take a look at it. What what is it? What are you associating it with? Where does your mind take you to? Um, it's not even well. Let me see. Well, partly because my own experience of that which you are referencing, and I have my own experience of it very intimately for a long period of time, um, is doesn't feel like it's got a her on it. Um, so when you do that, it it just it just throws me away. It throws me back into du dualism about it, and it kind of throws me into sort of like this Indian association with you know, the, the feminine principle, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and mm -hmm. all of that. So, and to me, that which I experience as the infinite. Okay. More neutral and beyond that, and yet it encompasses all of that. But that association feels on a, in a different level of where I'm drawn to go. Okay. And so it kind right. of sort of is like a, a, one of those road bumps. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm moving along and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, right. you know, it feels like du duality, um, it, it, like some kind of personal, intimate, associative, and it feels like a projection, quite honestly. Uh-huh, uh, right. It doesn't feel like, um, uh, so it's okay, it's all right, but I had to just say it. I would have said it privately, actually. I was thinking of erasing everything. I was just sort of bringing it up. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to create any disturbance, but maybe I'm not the only one who has that. Yeah, you may not be the only one. I, I get it. I understand. I've had a lot of people ask me that in the past. Why are you calling her she? So why aren't you calling it he or whatever? Okay, so this is a good subject. Let's talk about it, okay? Thank you. So A is that anytime you are talking and you have to, we're in third dimension, obviously. And the third dimension is the dimension of dualities. So anything you say, the opposite is also equally true. So if you say day, then there's night. You say white, there's black. You say man, there's woman. So everything has its own opposite when you're speaking the moment you express something, the opposite of it is equally true. So in language of spirituality, no matter what you say, however you're saying it, the opposite part of it comes with it too. So it's impossible using language to refer to a fifth dimensional space, something that it's non-dual. So a oneness, the state of oneness, I'm using state, but that's not even the right word for it. So the moment you're using language, it does create duality. So then it can get wordy. So that's where the term mind fucking comes. So we can mind fuck by playing with words. Oh, well, you said this word, but this word, da 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 da. The key, the point is that, and I understand, for you it pulls the trigger, and I get it. All right, this is my, the way I look at it. Sometimes I call it the grace, sometimes I call it. The, the grand spirit, the supreme soul, her majesty, Lord God, the point of reference, you're referencing, referencing, referencing to that which is eternal, that which is omnipresent, that which is always here and present. It's timeless. 
Before time came, before language was created, it was here. And after you and I are long gone, it's going to be here. When I refer to that, I use different words. Because different words for different people pulls the trigger. Some people resonate with God. Personally, I like God, the word God. That's my number one preference when I use the word. But these days, a lot of people, they get triggered by that word because they're referring to God as this dude that he's got long hair, beard, he's got a stick in his hand, and as soon as you say the word sex, he's going to beat you up with it. Because that's dirty. So that's kind of like a biblical character or it's coming from religion that associates things with guilt and shame, especially sexuality. So when we use the word God, because of our conditioning from childhood, from religious background, that we're already born and we're sinners, or whatever we do is we're this, which is related to anything sexual, and then we should be ashamed and we should go to hell or whatever. So our mind goes to this thing of good and bad and blah, blah, blah. But somehow I like the word God, because when I say God, to, for me, I'm not associating with that dude up there who's here to punish me. So I had to learn using different words, the Supreme Spirit, Mother Earth, the Being, Supreme Soul, Her Majesty. I like Her Majesty. When I say Her Majesty, something triggers inside me. I feel a power. Now, if I'm to give God a gender, I would make God a woman, not a man. The reason for that in this planet Earth, life comes for human beings is coming from women. Women give birth. So, our source of creation of human beings is coming from a female entity. So that's why I refer to to her as Her Majesty, the Supreme. So I give her the gender female rather than a male. But again, I understand it may trigger something inside you, which is cool, you know? Different things trigger different things in different people. I get it. None of it is good or bad. It's just the way it is. But I really appreciate you sharing your honest uh, opinion with me. I'm neutral to it. <laughs>